you were talking about uh, tough times on the professional front, and everybody goes through those. Also, tough times on the personal front, and arguably one of your toughest times was with the uh, ex-fiance. I'm curious, like when the first time was, there was a sign that, oh, something might really be wrong here. Well, I was, I was as shocked as everybody, and you know, I had no idea when this happened. So um, that was a very, yeah, very tough time because usually. I did a great job always keeping my private life private. So for me to all of a sudden have my private life all out in the open was, was something completely different. And it was, I was super embarrassed about the whole situation. Um, and it was literally in the middle of the playoffs too. So it was, it was a huge moment. And to this day, this Denver series that I played in 09 was one of the best series I've ever played in my life. I averaged like over 30. And I think it's because all the turmoil I had in my private life kind of really helped me focus in and enjoy in a way, uh, have that joy to, to get away from it uh, during, during that series. When you first find out, how do you confront her? Uh, I'm, I don't really want to get into specifics on how, how all that went down. I needed a lot of support from, from Holger and, of course, my family, like I said, and close ones and friends, and uh, I don't really want to get and, into and the you, specifics. And you changed your number and, like, email address almost uh, immediately, Yeah, right? of course. I, wasn't, I knew this was going to start, obviously, a big storm. Then we lost that series to Denver. Then, you know, it was a little bit of, like I said, the emptiness. And then you think about it all the time. Then I just wanted to go home and, and, and be with my family. And When you're in kind of those lowest points, like in, in the middle of it, what are you thinking about? How can I get through this? Um, look forward, work my way through it. Um, look forward to basketball. Have my family there for me. I'm not sitting there and and pouring my heart out to them. It's just, it's just me being myself with them and they've known me for my entire life. And I, I think that's more the, uh, the cure for me to just to be around people that, that love me for who I am and, and, uh, and spend time with them that usually, you know, I don't get to spend as much time with my family anymore. So to have that time with them and uh, and yeah, then, but isn't that one different though? I mean, like it was the it's your fiance at the time got uh, got arrested, and you uh, applied for custody of a, a kid that didn't exist because she said she was pregnant. Yeah, correct. Which we didn't know at the time. Right. So it was heavy stuff. And I remember we had a press conference first. That the, I was uh, very nervous and anxious and uh, embarrassed. And I gotta say, it was a, a tough time. I was told that one of the reasons it was hard for you was you know, you made the decision to get married and that was kind of one of the first big decisions you'd made completely on your own. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought that was the one and we were, we were both on the same page. Um, so of course that was, uh, yeah, it was a shock to me. How do you grow as a person um, going through like a, an experience like that? Well, it's, yeah, it's adversity. It's, uh, you have to go through something that, that pushes you because I was super embarrassed uh, to go out in public. I was, uh, and, and to me, I take stuff, I'm a sensitive guy. I take things very hard. And, and so, yeah, I was, I was hard on myself. How could this happen? How, how did I let this happen? It's okay to, to make mistakes though. And I think after the first uh, initial couple of weeks where I'm embarrassed, I'm like, oh God, this is, you know, all everybody now is gonna look at me and be like, oh, did you see what happened to him? I went home right away. I saw my family. Uh, we went on a vacation together with my sister with her kids and for two weeks. And then after that, I was, I was already fine. I was like, you know what? This, this could have happened to anybody. It just happened to me. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. I'm going to be the same lighthearted guy that has fun with people. And it was just, uh, it was just a mistake, and I, I got to l- learn from it. You can't close yourself away now from, for everybody and, and just go in this little shell. You know, life goes on. You, you made a mistake, and uh, you, you, know, you still have to be the same guy.